Hello, and welcome to an ALIAS 2021 deep dive session. During this session, we'll be discussing enhancements and changes to the reference manager. Here I've prepared a front end of a Daytona prototype race car, and it's made up of a bunch of different, in this case, wire files. They could be step files, anything that could be translated as in previous versions of ALIAS. Some of the changes that we've made include the ability right now to see hardware shade on the floor. You couldn't hardware shade anything in the reference manager. The other thing that we've improved is the look at button. So I have louvers picked right now and I can zoom to whatever's selected. If I pick nothing and I zoom, it works correctly. Previously, why I don't know, but look at didn't work in reference data. So now it works, which is, which is pretty good. Um, and it makes the ability to um, display and investigate and zoom in on parts um, pretty effective now in a review type situation. So each of these files contains um, a certain number of layers. Now, in this file here, I've made it individual components. Um, there is one subassembly that I'll be talking about. But um, one thing to note is that you can also adjust the, visit, the uh, symmetry setting of objects. So in this case, this louver has symmetry turned on. If I click on this icon, it shows only the first side. If I click on it once again, it shows the opposite side. And if I click on it one more time, it cycles back to showing both sides. That was not possible before. Um, layer folders are also supported now, which they weren't before. I don't have any layer folders, but if you had layer folders in your alias files, those would come in. In addition, the order of the layers is retained from the original file. So if you have your layers built with things you know, organized together, maybe some components that you always switch on and off an interior are hooked together, and then exterior components are always in a certain order, all of that layer structure will be maintained. But one of the really, really cool things that I like is that we've added the ability to make an assembly in alias. So I have down here a file, and that file is made up of two alias files. So if we look over here, and I was assembling this for my group. So let's say I was maybe a team lead or a design lead, and I was responsible for, at the end of the day, grabbing everyone's parts and pulling them together, okay? I think this is a great tool for that. Maybe I grabbed this part from a person. And it tells me right here when it was created, and I'll show you a little tidbit too on how we can see who created it um, when, we, when we do a little change here. But if I look, if I was reviewing this, I might pull this up and say to the person, hey, I see what you've done here, but I really don't like the way that your light goes through your lens. Can you please check that and, and confirm that it's okay? Now, that person could pull up this assembly. It's not necessary. In this case, they made me the assembly. I'll show you how to do this as if I was the user that built this lamp. So what I would do is I would right mouse button on here and go to the open the source file. Okay, now when I open the source file, it's gonna go out and it's gonna actually find that part and open it from its location in a stage in alias. So I've got my references turned, turned down here. So if we look, that alias file opened some data, but there's nothing in here. If we look, if I do a pick object, there's nothing in this file. If I go to my Windows object lister, there's nothing on anything in this file. Because this file is simply referencing two other alias files, okay? So in this case, I, would, I might want to know which one of these is the bad file. So if I look on the here, okay, that's my outer lens and maybe the fasteners that hold it in. And then this is my inner file that's the problem. Okay, so I'm going to right mouse button and I'm going to say open that source file. Now I'm down at the part level, okay? So now I could shade this and take a look at it. I see kind of maybe what I did wrong. I'm going to take my inner lamp and I'm going to use the transform command and I'm just going to move that back maybe to something. I'll look around the side here. Hey, you could make this exact if you wanted. I'm lucky for me. I don't do production work anymore. Um, maybe I'll just tuck that back so that the leading edge of the lens is back maybe behind there so that this sticks out. And maybe I'll look at this. Well, this one's kind of back to that spot. So maybe I'll push this guy all the way back there. Okay, and then I just do a pick nothing. Now, 
those changes have not been seen anywhere else. But as soon as I say file and I do a file save, that file now has been updated. I'm going to go back up one file to my main headlight. And if I look at this guy, and I think it's the timer set at about maybe 15 seconds. But if you wait and watch right here, all of a sudden we'll see that I would get a notice that this file is now out of date. It's been changed. There it is. I'm just going to say that reference is out of date. If you click on here, it's going to go get it and bring in the latest one. All right. So now I've got this assembly file that's assembling two other files. That's now updated. All right. So now if I save this file and I go to one file above it, okay, this file has not seen that update yet. But right here, I could say, okay, that one's out of date. Well, let's refresh that file. And then my lamp goes to the correct place. So uh, some pretty nice tools that allow people to work together to collaborate on, ob on objects, collaborate on parts. And then when that part becomes out of date, they don't have to send an email. They can just simply save their file and it will show up tomorrow morning when whoever the design lead is. It'll show up as out of date. He'll update it and he's good to go. Now, we do not yet have part versioning and currently we only support alias nested assemblies. Look for a future release where we might support other CAD systems assemblies. But I hope that helps uh, with some outlines on the enhancements that we've made to the new reference manager. Thanks for joining.